Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna go ahead through this. And we're just gonna pour this into the bucket. Okay, baby, I want you to back up for this because I want you to get all this dust in your lungs. Put your mask on, okay? Keep your mind on, put your mask on too. Okay, being like a daddy's. Mm. No, that's my child. Okay. So boom. And like I said, I'm not wearing my respirator because I gave mine to my daughter because hers had sticky stuff on it. We don't know what that's about. Um, but anyway, put all your buckets back in line. I gotta keep on the camera now so I can do a little more moving and a little more talking and talk a little faster. Alright? So keep up with it. I'm not talking fast, you take it slow, alright? Stay up, stay up, stay ready, stay woke. We in there now. Boom. Now we're gonna take this. We're gonna shake all that down. You got that? Mm -hmm. You don't gotta shake it like that, but you just pour it in there now. Boom. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, boo. I gotta shake the dirt off the side like this. So it all comes down on one side. Now smack it. Boom. Got that one long straggler. She just refused to go. Okay. You gonna put her in there for me? You scared to touch her still? No. You ain't grab her? Oh, let's clap it up for Demi! All right, now, to get, like I said, to sort through this is really easy. Just gonna do what I was showing y'all. Sifting it real quick, shaking it. Boom, 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 boom. And then twirl out, right? See that? All the the fries is gone. Nothing left in there but roaches. And of course, it's a little, little trash. When I say trash, I mean like big roach wings. You know, the stuff that the uh, cleaner colony, sit down right there, baby. Stuff that the cleaner colony couldn't eat. Like this. Just a little exoskeleton. Okay? We'll just throw this all. I'm just going to go through this with tongs and throw this in the trash. But then I'll go ahead and add everything else into the bins. Okay, so just made it through the first bucket. Now I'm on the second bucket. And essentially, like I said, you're just going to sift your way through each bucket till you get to the bottom and all the dirt, all the dirt or frass will be at the, uh, the bottom. In this case, I have more exoskeleton. Then I have roaches. So it'll be easier for me, instead of going through and try to pick out the dead, it'll be easy for me to go out and pick out the alive. And I'm going to just add all my large ones right here to my large colony. Like I said, these are the producers. Those babies are from the harvest that I didn't harvest because they were inside of the water crystals. It wasn't worth the time and effort to separate them. But, uh, yeah, these guys are going to go ahead and get back to eating and breeding and producing us more. And then we'll have more. Okay, just adding them. All right, now I got all the large out of there. I'm shaking smalls down. And then you see all that debris and stuff flying around. This is the reason why you want to be wearing a respirator. Yes. Okay, you talking about some yes, and you didn't take your respirator off. Yeah, put your respirator back on your face. I'll tighten it up in one second. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and sift, like I said, all the way down to the last bucket. And at which point, I'll go ahead and weigh out our smalls. And we'll call it a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you had fun with me so far. All right. I'm down to the last two bins. And I'm going to let you guys in on another little secret. Like I said, the uh, baby nymphs or small dubia nymphs, they need the frass, some of the frass, to eat. They actually eat it and use the frass to develop the right gut flora. That's what I said, yeah, gut flora, that's the word. Basically the right bacteria in their stomach so they can grow up healthy and strong, etc. Okay, so what it's, it's, it would be tedious, I would be sitting here forever trying to sift and get all of this dirt out of here. So what I'd recommend doing is just, you know, sifting it up until the point that you're, you know, tired of sifting. And then going ahead and pouring this into uh, your new colony bin so that they can have this to feed on as they grow up. Later on, before they all reach sexual maturity, what you can do is sift it again 
and then remove all the dirt and you'll have, you know what I mean? Because everybody will be big at that point and there will be no smalls because they've not yet reproduced. Okay, now under this, as you can see, this is all the frass that has fell through. Now, if you see crawling around those little black beetles, again, that is our cleaner crew. And, um, you know, I don't recommend getting rid of all these. So I would try to go through this and pick out at least a few of them because they reproduce quickly. But you want to, you know, spread those out through your roach calling that you already had, as well as the new roach calling that you're starting. Me personally, I keep a bin up here, that gray and red bin. Those are just cleaner crew beetles. So I never really have to worry about running out of them. But, you know, again, like I said, if you're just getting started, you might not have those things on hand and you don't want to waste anything. Nothing should go to waste, okay? Just in that quick second where I set that bucket down on my floor, you can see all those cleaner crew worms that have fell through on the floor. Luckily, I have an assistant who's gonna help me get all these up. Another little trick is you can take that bin that's right above the last bin, the one that has the frazz, the small dubia, and the cleaner crew in it, and you can sit it on top of your bin, like this here, and let some of those small, uh, lesser mealworms from your buffalo beetles go ahead and sift themselves out into your colony that you just cleaned. That way you can make sure you have cleaner crew in the bin. Okay, we'll get it, we'll get it. It was big. Where? It was the ground up there. That's a roach, not a beetle. That's a dubia roach. You can see it back there. Is that a male or a female? <laughs> Maybe a jumper. It's a female. <laughs> and are females girls or boys? Are females girls or boys? Very good. And now, the moment of truth. We are going to weigh the small dubia roaches that we just harvested and basically see what we got. Okay, now as I said earlier, it's definitely handy to keep you a digital scale on deck, preferably a kitchen scale because they'd be coming with the little, uh, you know, glass bowls. This makes your life a lot easier, all right? Shout out to my man, Trust the Scale, yeah. Anyway, check him out on uh, Instagram, Trust the Scale. That's Instagram at Trust the Scale. Uh, another young brother that's really interested in reptiles and has a, a little clothing company, kind of like Taylor on Reptiles. Anyway, I can't be plugging everybody, but I am Rufus with the plug. 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 So, boom. So you guys know I ain't sicing any. And I, I kept them in the uh, bin. We're going to go ahead and pour them in. As you can see, the scale is at zero. Now, my estimate was 10,000 uh, dubia, which is about 300, 350 grams when they're smalls. Okay, so we're going to see how close we get. All right, there, come on. Hold on, hold on. I think we got it. Boom, we hit it. You got that? Mm -hmm. Zoom in on that right quick. There we go. As you can see, we had 351 grams. And I'm pretty I'm pretty on the, on the money with it because, like I said, I'm harvesting them every two months. And it's not like I'm adding or losing dubia in this colony. I mean, I, I get like a few dying off here and there, which is natural. Some of them are old. And sometimes they just die. I don't know. Whatever the case. Um, but they pretty much give me a consistent yield every two months. So um, right now, it is currently March, I think like the 15th. 14th. I'm not even sure. It's the, the 15th. 15th. Okay, cool. So it's March the 15th. We're going to do this again on May the 15th. Just to test my theory and see if I'm getting the same number every two months. But I, like I said, I'm usually pretty, uh, pretty on with it. 351 grams, as you can see. And this is roughly about 10,000, maybe even 12,000. Uh, small dubia, you can see the size, and that right there, my friends, is gold. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up now. Got the weight, like I said, 351 grams. And uh, these are new egg cartons right here. I just went ahead and finished off what I had, and then these I'm putting in are the used ones that were salvageable, except for this one. I don't even know how this one made it past me. But if it looks like that, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in the trash. Um, but the rest of them are pretty good. 
to be reused. We're just gonna go ahead and lay this out and get everything set up so that we can pour our small dubias in here and that will grow into a uh, new, another colony. Basically those small dubias at 350 grams will turn into this. And then in turn, we'll be getting 700 grams every two months as opposed to 350. You follow me? And we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do this all year long. I'm gonna just go ahead and keep uh, saving up my smalls and letting them turn into larges. Of course, out of this 10,000, all these are females. And of course, I'm gonna have to feed a lot of these off because majority of them will actually be males and we wanna keep a very low male ratio. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of dubia, people. And that all came from this one bin right here. I'm gonna just sit this right here for the moment. And I'll show you this bin right here and, and it's finished, as it's finished. I got my orange slices in there. That citrus helps increase breeding. Another little tip for you guys. You know, thank me later. And if you're actually enjoying these tips, put David, I appreciate the tip in the comments. I would ask for a tip myself, but you know what, guys? I'm good. I'm good. All right? Just, just do that for me. Just put David, I appreciate the tip in the comments. That's for anybody who, you know, bared with me and watched the video all the way up to this point. Love you guys for it. I put a lot of work into making these videos so I don't make them often because they're never easy for me. For some reason, I can never shut up when the camera's on. Okay? But like I said, we're getting this colony now set up to pour those smalls right there into here and let this grow into a new colony. All we need to do now is add our uh, polymer gel crystals and add our Rapeshi. And I'm going to add a few orange slices. Not that these guys really need orange slices because they're not going to be able to breed at this size. But fresh fruit always does the body good. Okay? So hold on for a second. I'm going to get that done. And I'll show you what it looks like. And voila. The perfection we have before you is... A soon to be roach colony. Excuse my camera folks, camera skills folks, I told you. And like I said, those guys right there, those smalls, will be going in here and will eventually become this right here, an adult colony producing thousands and thousands of babies for us a month, which will feed all of my hungry, hungry mouths. Okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in. As you can see, I have my uh, orange slices, got my Rapeshi, got my polymer gel crystals, and we're good to go. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And again, if you need to use some Rapeshi, this is Rapeshi Veggie Burger, which is completely fine to feed your dragons. It's just a lot more, I mean, to feed your feeders, but it's just a lot more expensive. I recommend using the Bug Burger because it's a lot less expensive. And it will, like I said, it's a complete diet in the sense of it gives them hydration and nutrition. If you want to find that, like I said, the link will be in the description. You can definitely find it at our online store. We appreciate all the support, all the people who have purchased from us thus far. Love you guys. I appreciate everybody who's watched this long, long long video all right but you know i don't want i don't want to shortcut you guys i want to give you give you all i got all right so blow now we got that this is the part of beauty Look at that, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. And I'll show you what this colony becomes 
when I do my next doobie harvest in two months in May. It really takes a doobie about an average of uh, six months to reach adulthood, I believe. And I believe they live on an average of 12 months. I gotta brush up on my skills. Like I said, I'm more into uh, bugs than I am into beardies, to be honest with you guys. Um, but uh, it's been a long time since I really like studied my roaches. You know, I try to be a student of everything that I'm doing and not a professor, man. You gotta constantly be learning. Like I said, knowledge is power. Information is more valuable than the animals themselves in a sense. Because without it, you couldn't care for them, breed them, do any of the amazing things that we've all been able to do in the reptile hobby. So, uh, you know, once you really start to get in depth into husbandry and care of your animals, it's only natural that you're going to uh, find yourself uh, indulging in, you know, different feeders and uh, food sources, protein sources, nutrition sources and stuff like that. Making sure your animals are receiving adequate nutrition. And there really isn't any feeder I can think of on hand that I'd recommend over doobie roaches. If you can afford to only feed your, ro your, your bearded dragons doobie roaches and fresh vegetables, I mean, you get away with it. But who can? That's why I use Rapeshi because, uh, you know, it has a uh, black soldier fly larvae base, which is very high in calcium with a lot of other added ingredients that are really good for your bearded dragon to make sure that they're getting a proper and balanced diet. Uh, ruthless with the plug. Ruthless with the plug. Anyway. So there we have it folks, that's the end of the video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Look at that, that's beautiful. That is just, ooh, ooh. And like I said, I'll show you what, how big these have gotten in two months. All right, well, like I said, that's the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. In the meantime, in between time, peace, love, pagonas, tell them boo boo. Tell them, say, peace, love, put down is. Show them, tell them, Puff. Puff, where you at? Peace, <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. We appreciate y'all. Peace. Thanks for watching, Dad.